Well, here we are today with uh, Shawanda with Decilla Comfort Center. So Shawanda, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. So can you describe your nonprofit to us? So Decilla Comfort Center is a faith-based nonprofit okay. and we were established to provide prevention and intervention so that youth and young adults can have hope for an abuse-free future. Okay. Nice. That's really, uh, that's really good. So what made you decide to get into this line of work? Um, this is something that's been a passion of mine for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a okay. long time. Um, when I was 15 and I revealed that um, I was abused, Aww. I had someone that told me that my life was now predestined to be a certain way. <sighs> And I refused to accept that. Right. And I said that I would use my life to show others that they did not have to live behind a stereotype yeah. or a label that was placed upon them and that they could do whatever they want to do in life or become whatever they wanted to be. So um, over my years, I've experienced a lot of different things, received a lot of education and mm -hmm. um uh, education and uh, experiences that helped me to kind of start this to do prevention and intervention in the community. Nice, nice. Uh, well, it's fair to say, but I think that, that uh, people that come from that type of abuse, um, it, they, they need some some way to recover and, uh, yes. uh, and, and move through it. They don't have to live by the labels that they put on them, either through somebody else or themselves. Exactly. It's understanding the importance of community. And yes. that is one of the um, pillars of DeSilva Comfort Center mm -hmm. is really helping the community to come together and understanding that we all play a part in yes. um, stopping abuse, yeah. which, is, which are various kinds of abuse, yeah. and also helping in the recovery of those who have been harmed by right. abusers. Right. Yes. Right, right, right. Well, that's that's good. That's good. Uh, what maybe it's a question, one and the same. But what really made you decide to get into this? Oh, right? you probably yeah, already answered that. It's definitely a passion, but yes. I will tell you that um, seeing people to just come out of situations that they've been in, yeah, um, and being able to just that that desire to want to do something else, that desire to want to thrive, right? Um, that's something that that um, really motivates me. Um, I just like to see people to move in purpose, I say, or right. live in purpose, and um, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what helps me out. Nice, nice, so that's good. What really drives you, what motivates you, Sean? Oh, I, you know, I was actually asked that question earlier today okay. um, because someone asked about my salary. Okay. And I said, I don't take a salary right, right now. So she said, well, what, something has to drive you to do yeah. it. And I said, y you know, when I see an individual that comes in with this cry for help yeah, and they, you can, you can tell that they've been going through something, mm -hmm. but once we see the difference that we're making by connecting them to resources mm -hmm. and our resources are not staff, uh -huh. okay. our resources are the community. Right. Whether it's small businesses yeah. um, or just other business owners in the community and they're able to form those relationships yeah. and we see them forming that new motivation every yeah. day, that keeps me going Yeah, because we see that we are changing lives. So yeah. with the Silver Comfort Center, we say we're changing lives one day at a time. Nice. So I get to see that we're changing lives one yeah. day at a time. Yeah, yeah, that's really, that's really good. Really good. Get, people get their self-worth back. And, they uh, do, yeah. they do. They, yeah. Because a lot of times they feel that they're hopeless Yes. Um, or they're helpless. And yeah. we say, no, that's why we're a resource center mm -hmm. because there are so many more resources out there sometimes than we even realize. And right. knowing that even you as a small business, there's something that you offer as a realtor that right. you can help find someone a new beginning that they sure. probably didn't think they could have. Correct. So it's seeing that connection of all the gifts that we have in our community yeah. come together to yeah. help the healing and recovery of someone else. Uh, phenomenal. That's just great. What surprises you about this line of work or your life or whatever? What, uh, what surprises me? Um, so this is probably going to be an odd response. Okay. I would say... I'm actually not one that is easily surprised. Okay. Um, my family laughs at me a lot because yeah. normally when something happens, I'm normally the one that says, so why did that surprise you? Yeah, right. <laughs> and I think it just comes from life experiences. Mm -hmm. um, not that I 
don't have an expectation of people, right? Yeah. But I've learned to accept yeah. people and accept things for yeah. who and what they are mm -hmm. and kind of take people as they are. Yeah. And because I do that, I'm not surprised by something that happens or something that doesn't, doesn't happen. happen yeah. I just go, okay, this yeah. is where we are. Right. Um, and I, I think if I had my own expectation of someone, if they did something different, mm -hmm. then that would surprise me. Right. But I don't really yeah. live that way. Yeah, yeah. Really nice, really nice. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us today? Um, yeah, so we have been so busy with the Silla Comfort Center over this okay. past year, and we have a lot of things coming up that we want to get out to the community. Okay. Um, on November 2nd, we have actually a uh, counselor that is coming in, mm -hmm. and she's doing a workshop to help people get through the holidays that maybe have experienced some type of loss. Okay. And we see loss different types of ways, whether that is losing someone, mm -hmm. but it also could be losing something. Yeah. All the way down to a job, or yeah. maybe moving, maybe your family has moved, right? Yeah. Um, and because the family has moved, maybe the young adult in the, in the household is experiencing yeah. the, that loss that we sometimes overlook. Mm -hmm. But so this crisis counselor is coming in to just do a workshop so that we understand how to get through the holidays yeah. um, when we've experienced loss. Yeah. Um, so we do workshops like that, again, to just kind of help the community, and we're doing also my Money Matters. Okay. My Money Matters is on the 16th of November, yeah. just before the holiday shopping season. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because we know those lists get long, yes. and we want to kind of think about what's on that list and really yeah. give hope for something that can really sustain us for the future, mm -hmm. whether it's a forever home, or it could be college or secondary or post-secondary education for yeah. families. Right. So those are a couple of events. And then we have a lot of other things that people can go to our Facebook page and um, also our website to take yeah. a look at. Yeah. yeah, that's great. And you talk about people uh, transitioning, maybe it's through job loss or loss of a loved one or anything like that. Like mm -hmm. I often think about um, there's a grieving period for someone to go through, whether it's just a job loss or transitioning into a new job. Exactly. There's a grieving process to go through and people don't really understand really what they don't know. Transitions and, and transitions yes. in life. And loss right. is very different for each person. Everybody, and, yes. And I think sometimes because we think of it a certain type of way, yeah. when someone is going through something we don't understand yeah. why they're going through what they're going through. Right. And especially over the holidays, because yeah. it's a joyous time. Yeah. We're always happy and gleeful, yeah. right? Right. But then when someone's not... Um, moving the way that we do over the holidays, mm -hmm. we don't understand why. Yeah. So this kind of helps not only the individual, yeah. but it helps us to be better supporters to understand what Agreed. loss can be yes. and how we see loss and how we can help our friends, our neighbors, and our families, mm -hmm. those that we care about yeah. to kind of get through those times. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, Shwanda, I really thank you for taking the time today. Uh, folks with, uh, get this right, the Silla Comfort Center. Yes. Really good. So thank you very much for taking the time today. Thank you. Thank you.